Hi there, welcome back to Antiques Trade Secrets. Something a little bit different for you this time. Um, alongside the smaller antiques that often feature in our videos, we also buy larger objects that might well suit people with sort of interior design things, uh, vintage items that are, are fun but perhaps not as old as some of the antiques we feature. So here are three things today that might, uh, you might find interesting. This is a 1930s uh, writing uh, kind of compendium. So you've got your individual material lined pockets there. There's a nice leather calendar, which is quite cool with the days. Uh, writing slope and space for your bits and pieces in there. This was a charity shop find, picked it up for a fiver, and I'd hope to get sort of 30 to 40 pounds uh, for that. Uh, in the middle here, I mean, this has got no real age to it, but it's fun. I sell a lot of clocks. Pick them up maybe for a fiver, aim for about 20. This is particularly good. The Roman numerals and the large size uh, really caught my eye because that's going to appeal. Uh, and then over here, this again, no real great age. Uh, it's glass, probably 10, 20 years old maybe, but it's a skull and things like this, really quite popular. You don't want to stand up. There we go. And they often sell quite well. And it also look quite good as a display item in our uh, shelves we rent in the antique centre. So we thought he was kind of cool, nice detail. He's not too cheap. He's got a bit of, uh, bit of quality to him. So there you go, just a quick video on the larger uh, items we sometimes buy alongside the, the furniture that you've seen before. These kind of things do sell, clocks, mirrors as well, not a great uh, thing to look out for, particularly if they've got an interesting frame or shape uh, to them. So do check back soon, please subscribe. Uh, our antiques guide on getting out there in the car boots, etc., making a few pounds up selling things is just down below. And good luck out there. Bye for now.